I've been towing now over 25 years, and I tow at least four times a year. I'm uh, very experienced. I've never had an accident. Very, very safety conscious. The most unsafe towing conditions is when wet weather. You've got a lot of spray coming up on the road. I feel quite safe. I've got 17 years no claims bonus on my car, so I think I'm quite a good driver. I was towing on the M5 back last year. I was doing roughly about 45, 50 mile an hour, and I heard it a rumble. So I pulled over to the hard shoulder, realised I had a blow up. And I mean, it was disintegrated the tyre, ripped off the side of the caravan, uh, the mudguard, and I had to call the AA up. There was no way I was going to change the tyre on the side of the M5. I was told by the AA man, he said, you had a stabiliser on there. I said, yeah, I always have. And I'm glad I did. Because I'm most probably wouldn't be standing here talking to you. <laughs> Unsafe drivers cause accidents, kill people, end of. Safe drivers, they'll still be here to tell the tale tomorrow. I just feel sorry for the people that they're probably going to hit, injure, or the problems they're going to cause later on down the motorway. When I see them unsafe, driving unsafely, my concern is for the occupants in that car and for the other road users. Newer drivers, I think, um, hopefully with the new tests coming in where they can get motorway experience will be good because at the moment they're just released into 70 mile an hour traffic never been there but in all fairness most of the accidents we have are not new drivers they are people that have been on the road some years generally road users do know what to do in the event of a breakdown particularly where there's a motorway with a hard shoulder if we have as we have now, we have a lot of motorways that are becoming smart motorways. They have no hard shoulder, but they do have emergency areas which you can pull into in an emergency. However, since a lot of the issues are tyre related, people tend to stop in live lane. In general, they're pretty good. They do know what to do. They will pull onto the hard shoulder where it's available. They will call the emergency services if needed, and they will call recovery. Very few of them try to do a self-repair to their own if it's on an offside, but they will try it on a near side, which if it's safe, that's good.